Good day, everybody. Meteorologist Robert Spetta here with EarthquakeReport.com. Doing an earthquake report on the 5.4 earthquake that took place earlier today here in Kazakhstan, a 5.4 magnitude, approximately 20 kilometers deep, so a relatively shallow earthquake. That's actually equivalent of 12 miles. Uh, this took place at 02:31 Azulu for a universal time, but at 08:31 in the morning here locally in Kazakhstan, and approximately uh, 76 kilometers towards the northeast of Almaty here, this uh, city right in here and over 200 kilometers east northeast of Bishkek the largest city in the region now this was a quick shock wave type earthquake actually if you look at the seismograph here out of the region you just see one real uh, quick shock right through here and that's kind of indicative of just a quick shock wave type earthquake that really uh, doesn't last too long but it does cause a mass amount of damage especially when it's really shallow out here. looking at the historical earthquakes out in this region not too uncommon to see a lot of small earthquakes and actually one really large a 7.8 earthquake actually that took place in 19 1911, less than 20 kilometers from the epicenter of their current earthquake, and this one actually uh, killed up to 450 people. Uh, good news, this earthquake that's taking place now, much, much, much smaller than this one, uh, the one that occurred in 1911. Yet, uh, I don't want to undertone the size of this earthquake, especially in the valleys out here. Now, this is kind of a mountainous region. And actually, if we look at some of the panoramas here off Google for this local area, you can kind of get a grasp of how mountainous it really is. Now, I do want to note, though, we did have some quotes here from EMSC, uh, collected testimony out actually out of Almaty, the capital, uh, 80 kilometers to, uh, from the epicenter here. Now this is, and I quote, uh, first I thought that a heavy vehicle was moving along the street, uh, making a low noise and constantly grew louder. Uh, this person lived on the eighth floor. Then the floor and the walls started to tremble. In the end, the amplitude was fairly high. The walls and windows were creaking and uh, family members woke up at that point, but the, uh, the dogs didn't show any signs of unrest. That's kind of indicating to me that it did, it was a little unusual to feel this uh, shaking, yet yeah, uh, not too severe out here. And also another report out of Almaty was indicating a four magnitude shaking, or a light shaking. So several reports coming out of the Capitol building farther out towards the uh, west. But here in some of these smaller farming communities localized in the uh, earthquake region here, could have seen some heavier shaking, especially in the valleys as already noted. But uh, that's all for right now. We're continuing to monitor for any damage reports coming out of here. The good news is that as of right now, uh, press hasn't been uh, picking up on any damage yet. If you go to earthquakereport.com, the earthquaketacreport.com, link is below if you're watching this on on YouTube. Uh, just look for some of the newest information streaming in there. Also, I do want to mention this is the main earthquake here, but another one did occur, a 4.9, uh, occurred approximately an hour after the original one. So just want to note that as well. It's a couple aftershocks going on in this region here. So uh, continuing the monitor situation, but that's all for now. So thanks again for listening, everybody.